to the deputy president and uh, we wish him a quick recovery. The impeachment process is always very tedious and very tiring. Going through what uh, His Excellency, the Deputy President has gone through, is not anything that you'd wish your relative or yourself to go through. So we tell him pole and uh, we wish him a quick recovery. Would have wished if he was here, at least when uh, the senators are talking, uh, he, he can represent himself. But unfortunately, the procedure must go on because we are time bound. This leadership, we must make decisions for the people of Kenya. As myself, Stabitha Karanja, the Senator of Nakuru County, I pray to God to give me wisdom to make the right decision for my people. I represent a county that is a home for 42 tribes. Nakuru represent Kenya. Meaning, I must make the right decision to ensure that there is peace, peace in our county. But I want my Nakuru people to trust me, Nakuru people, the people I represent, that I will make the right decision for them. When you look at the economic front, we all know the people who lead the economy of this country. Let's say the manufacturing, the hotels, insurances, the finance institutions. Unfortunately, I also come from that world. I came from the business world. The people driving this economy, all what they want is to ensure that there's stability in this country. So that they can, so that there's a stability that can guarantee conducive environment for them to do business. The deputy position, the deputy president's position, or even the deputy governor's position, is a position that we need to think about. If you look, it has a history that every deputy president is unlikely that they survive. But we need to have the hiring and hiring to be given to the same person that hires. Rather than having those people bringing after firing, they want to fire, they bring them to the floor of the Senate. I wish we can go back to the Moi regime, where they used to be sacked and nothing changes. They were hired as another one tomorrow the following morning. Politi fortunately, the political formation in this country have uh, representation from different uh, communities. I know we are all asking where we are, but when the boss says he doesn't want the person that is hired, a manager, it is very, very hard to say that you can f save that person, because even if you save him, where is he going to work? He may even find the offices are locked. So I think he makes the right decision to ensure that this country moves, because all what we are looking for is the stability of this country. And I know when I'm in this floor, if we, unlikely that we don't save the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, the one we have. The pre, that deputy president came from one, uh, one community. I just pray that that position will be returned to the same community. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Asante. Senator Okoit Omtata. Uh, thank you, Mr. Spe uh, Mr. Speaker. I stand here not to defend a good man. It's not important whether His Excellency the DP is a good man or a bad man. I stand here to defend the oath of office that I took to defend the Constitution of Kenya. And that includes giving the devil his due. When the people of Kenya, during public participation, were screaming Kufa Makanga, Kufa Ndereba, they were opposing selective prosecution. They said if parliament has hold people accountable, it should not